Hey everybody, welcome back. Appreciate you joining me once again. This is the week of July the 4th. It is July 1st, Monday, today. And I thought I would do a uh, strawberry shortcake for the 4th of July. So I'm gonna do it the way my mama made it. My dad loved this dish. And uh, my mom doesn't do the biscuit type, uh, you know, the biscuit that most people do use. Instead, she uses a cake mix, makes a cake out of it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. But first, we need to macerate our strawberries. So I'm gonna wash them, I'm gonna cut them up, slice them up, and, uh, and then put some sugar and stuff on them, a little bit of lemon juice on them. And uh, let me show you, I got two pounds. Look, check this out. See, got two pounds of strawberries, fresh strawberries. There's some big old son of a guns too, man. Nice. Little lemon juice, a little bit of sugar, and I'm gonna put them in this, uh, you put them in some kind of a, a glass type dish. And uh, what we're gonna do is let these macerate in the fridge covered uh, with saran wrap for about 24 hours. Four to six hours would probably be enough. But, uh, you know, 24 hours is even better, right? You get you some more juice out of that sugar. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. I'll show you here in a second. All right, gang, we are back. Again, two pounds of strawberries. I saved six of them. I got six of them in here that I'm gonna try to save as garnish. And uh, here's the rest of them. Just sliced up, you know, pretty thin slices. And, uh, you know, maybe a quarter inch thick. All right, what I'm gonna do, put a little bit of lemon juice on here. That'll just help enhance the flavor. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. And we're gonna throw a little bit of sugar in here. I'm gonna taste one of these. Let me see. Get back here. Tell those are not overly sweet. Alright, that's probably a quarter cup of total sugar. Maybe a third. I don't know. Oh, excuse me. I need to stir this up a little bit. Get your big old mamma jamma spoon, big old teaspoon thing happening right here. Stir all this up. And again, we are going to cover this with some saran wrap and the sugar and strawberries. We're gonna make some nice juice. But we're gonna cover it with saran wrap. Let this sit in the fridge for. Uh, at least four to six hours, but I'm gonna do mine in 24 hours. Hey everybody, it's been a couple of days. Um, I was gonna macerate these strawberries and put them in Monday night, kind of late, about 10:30 p.m. Checked them yesterday, and they were not uh, producing very much liquid. You know, so I only put a quarter cup originally Monday night. Yesterday, after I checked them, um, I put another, you know, half cup, three quarters cup of sugar. Stirred them up again. Covered them with a plastic wrap, put them back in the fridge. So today is Wednesday. So they've been macerating since about 10.30 p.m. Monday night. And it's about uh, a little almost 5.30 p.m. now, uh, Wednesday. So tomorrow's Independence Day. Happy Independence Day, everybody. <clears throat> I'm gonna do these uh, uh, strawberry shortcake. I forgot what I was cooking there for a second. But uh, let me show you these strawberries. They're excellent, man. Check, check this out. Look. Y'all can see these real quick here. Check out all the liquid that I got in there now. There you go. Chock full of liquid right there. And I bet these are some kind of good too. All right, yeah, babe. That's good stuff right there. All right, let's bake a cake. Hey guys. All right, we're gonna do the uh, the cake part now. And a lot of people for strawberry shortcake, they do a, a biscuit type, you know, cake. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do just a regular yellow cake mix out of the box, but I'm going to jazz it up a little bit. Uh, my mom used to make terrific cakes, excellent cakes when we were younger, growing up for birthdays and whatnot, and uh, everybody always raved about her cakes. So I got her to provide me with just a little add-on stuff that she puts in her mix, and I'm going to incorporate it in this. Remind me of being back home again. So there you go, moonshine. You get your sauce for your meatloaf. 
from mom, I'm going to get I'm going to get the cake mix add-ons for her uh, for her cakes. I'm going to do it. All right. Um, let me show you what we got. Oh, I've got the oven preheating. I've got a convection oven. Um, I've got it preheating on the convection oven for uh, three, 325. So I'm not exactly following the box directions. I think the box says 350 or so. Yeah, 350, I think. Um, this is what I'm using, y'all. Just regular yellow cake mix. And uh, calls for a cup of water, third cup of softened butter. I'm gonna use unsalted, and three whole eggs. And uh, let's whip this up. And as I start adding stuff, I'll show you what the extra add-ons are that I have. So here we go. All right, let's open up this cake mix here. Get all up in there. There we go. All right, now. Put a little powdered sugar in there. And y'all can follow the recipe on the back of the box. That don't have to do it this way. Three tablespoons powdered sugar. Now let's get some powdered sugar going here. My hands are too big. One. Two. Three tablespoons, guys. What else do we need? Need us a cup of water. I forgot my measuring cup. Hang on. All right, I got a one cup measurement here. All right, one cup water. Need some. Let's see. Almond. Yeah, almond, almond extract. One teaspoon almond extract. Oh man, if y'all if y'all hadn't smelled this stuff, get you some of this and just just smell it, man. It is some kind of good. That done. Now we need some lemon. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Pure lemon, baby. About a half a teaspoon. Thereabouts. Not a whole lot. It is some oil. Two tablespoons of oil. I'm just using regular old canola oil. Two tablespoons. Now we need three eggs. And these are room temperature eggs. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start this going in the mixer here. And I'm gonna slowly incorporate the other two eggs after this one gets incorporated into the uh, mix here. Make sure I get everything here. Water. Oh, vanilla. I need some vanilla in there, y'all. Teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm close to Mexico. I get this real stuff from Mexico, the vanilla extract. Mmm. Nectar of the gods, baby. Teaspoon. Mm -hmm. All right, I think that's it. And I got the paddle on here. I'm just gonna put it on number one. Can y'all see me over here? There you go. I got two more eggs I need to add. I do have that uh, melted butter, third of a cup. I'm gonna go ahead and add that. Let's see what's 
going on down there. There you go. Now you can see it. Let this go a few minutes. Alright, we'll be right back. Alright folks, I've uh, been going about a minute and a half now. This looks really good. I'm going to turn it off. Turn that off. Drop that down. Let that paddle drain just a little bit. Alright, and I've got two 9 inch, two 9 inch cake pans. I'm going to put a little Crisco, a little shortening in there. And uh, put a little bit of a flour, shake it about, you know, so my cakes don't stick in there. So let me do that. Be right back. Alright gang, so two 9 inch Hands, you can tell, you see the, the, the lard, the shortening in there. Put a little bit, not a lot, a little bit of just regular flour. Shake this about just a little bit. Make sure you put it all on the sides as well. Same with this one. All right, let me do this and be right back, y'all. All right, if you have any ex excess, just tap it out. You know, put it in your sink or trash. Because you do not want a big, thick layer. You just, just want to coat it just a little bit. Now we're going to pour this cake mix in here. Cake batter. Let me get that. All right, I got my cake batter here. This is some good stuff. Just eat just like this. We're going to divide it between these two pans. Try to anyway. Okay. If one's a little more full than the other, don't worry about it. It'll all work out in the end. Oh man, that's going to be some good eating right there. And again, the reason that I uh, adjusted my temperature and time in my oven is because of my convection oven. If you go by the, the regular, uh, damn it's good. Go by the box instructions, if you have a regular oven, it should be fine. All right, that's about even now. Tap these down, get all the air out. We're gonna put them in the oven for about 20 minutes. All right, folks, I got my cakes all done here. And this one didn't have quite enough batter in it, uh, not like this one. This one looks good. So uh, th it'll be all right. I'll show you. So we'll let these cool off about 10, 15 minutes, and I'm going to take the cakes out of the pans and let them continue cooling on the racks just by themselves. All right, folks, we are back. Now I got two layers. I've, I've flattened this one out, took the top off of it, kind of flattened it out. Got our... Uh, Strawberries here, man, I, I know y'all can't really see all that. Let me go down just a little bit there. See y'all see all that juice in there? Ooh, baby, that's some good stuff right there. Okay, now, what we're gonna do here, put some holes in here. Not many, just a little bit. And not all the way through. Just prod it just a little bit. Strawberries. Mm -hmm. And these strawberries smell great. Some kind of good, y'all. Alright, just try to get it level. You know, you don't want any big bumps. And get you some of this juice right here. You don't need a lot of it because you don't want the cake soggy. Okay. 
and get you a little bit of this, uh, you know, cool whip, whipped cream, however you want to look at it. So I'm going to smooth this out. We're going to do the other layer here. And we will be back here momentarily. Be right back, y'all. All right, everybody. We have completed this cake. Strawberry shortcake for the 4th of July Independence Day. Happy Independence Day, everybody. It's tomorrow. We're going to enjoy it. I'll show you a slice here in a little bit. All right, everybody. Let's taste this fine strawberry shortcake. Let's see here. I don't want to cut this. I don't want to mess the stars up. I'm just going to cut a little. Yeah, it's kind of messed up right there. Let's go for it. There we go. Right. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Nice big slice for T-Roy. Right. There you go, y'all can see the interior of that. There you go. Of course you got the main cake here too. that out man that's good stuff right there y'all oh yeah baby excellent excellent all right we're going to check this out mm -hmm. okay, let's, let's try this out Tell you what, that's better than store-bought stuff. That's jamming, y'all. Y'all should make this cake this way instead of using that biscuit that they normally use on the strawberry shortcakes. It's great. Happy Independence Day, everybody. Military, we love you guys. Thanks for all you do. God bless the USA. Please continue to bless us. Love you guys. Thanks. See y'all next time.